Yes, I did. I just bought a new supercar. Now, if you are a fan of my work, if you've been following me on social media, I want to see if you can guess what car I just bought. Comment below. Now, did I buy a Ferrari? Did I buy a Lamborghini? Did I buy another Bentley? Maybe a Rolls Royce? I don't know. Comment below. See if you know. Let me give you a few seconds. By the way, if this is the first time you're watching my video, make sure you click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification. Every single day, I upload a new video for you. So, what did I buy? Now, let me give you a little bit of hint. I've been wanting this car for a long time. It is very, very difficult to find. It is almost a collectible and it's extremely, extremely valuable. Do you know what this car is? Are you ready? Are you really ready? Here we go. And that is, da da! Ford Escort. A white Ford Escort. Now you may be thinking, what the hell, Dan, what is this? This is actually the exact same model as my first car. The first car that I bought when I immigrated to Canada, when I got my driver license, when I was old enough to drive. Now at the time, I bought this exact same model from my aunt for $2,500. It was a lemon, right? With I think like 100,000 miles on it or something like that. It's very, very difficult to find. So when I found this car, I had my team, uh, Desmond, negotiated with the owner and I bought this for $800. Now the problem was when I bought this for $800, the car doesn't run. So we had to put in another few hundred dollars of work to just to make sure this thing would, would run, right? So why did I buy this car? I bought this car because I want to always remember where I came from. This is where I came from. Lock first. Dan Lock's very first car. When I had no money. You can smell it. It stinks. <laughs> There's no new leather smell, right? It, this is so old. You can see this. Follow me, right? This actually brings in a, a, brings back a lot of memory, right? Because I remember my windshield actually didn't work very well. It would make a lot of noise. I don't know if you had that experience. Like with old car, it would go kick, 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 like in, in, in like when it's raining. And Vancouver, believe it, believe it, it, it rains a lot, right? And then we have this, and then the brake. Now, what's very interesting is the car at the time that passenger door actually doesn't work. So what would happen is my mom, I would drive my mom to get groceries every single time. My mom to get on and off the car, she had to come on this way. She had to go on the car first on the driver's seat and she had to climb over and actually do this, right? To do this in order to get on and off. Now, this car is better because it actually works on this side so I could get out. but. This, this was my first car, this. So I want to put in my garage and always remember how far I've come, how hard I've worked. And always remember, I hope you're watching this, that it doesn't matter where you came from. It doesn't matter the mistake that you made. It doesn't matter the roads have been down. It doesn't matter. I don't care where you are because your past does not equal your future. You could change it. Because sometimes when it's, it's so far away, when it happened so long ago, when you're living your life day to day, you don't remember these things. But every single time I see this car now, I'm like, wow. This was who I was, this is what I was driving. And also it teaches me how to be humble, right? How to be humble and appreciate more of what I have today and the people in my life. So no, I have zero interest in a Ferrari, Lamborghini and things like that. This, this is my supercar. I am more excited 
getting this than a supercar. And I'll put it here, front and center in my garage. And I want people to know, and even my friends, they see it, they came here, I said, this is where I came from. From this to the Bentley, from this to the company, the brand that we have today. So share with me, what's your first car? What is your first car? And what's your dream car? What is the car that you would get if price is no object? What is car that you would really want to buy? Comment below.